Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Shulchan Aruch Yomi. Today we have a really long simon. Uh, this is 26 Sifim. I think this is the second biggest we've had after Lamed Bays, which was 52. Double this. I'm going to try to get it in within 15 minutes because I'd like to give a maximum 15 minutes. Of course, where it's impossible, like Simon Lamed Bays, no choice, but. Let's see if we do it in 15 minutes. Let's start. We're talking about, <clears throat> most of the simon talks about a shliach tzibor, um, hiring someone to lead your minyanim. You know, usually some places they hire a chazan. <clears throat> Even we don't hire a chazan, there's certain halachas that apply. Then gimel dina royally, really teva. Alf, omer shliach tzibor, yishtabach, umad. This is really going back when we're talking about before. Pesuket the zimra. The shliach tzibor, even though, <clears throat> Mishra Baruch points out, even though a yachid was davening yishtabach, it's a minag to stand up. This is Medina. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to in the Gemara. The, the, the Gemara doesn't mention, Bavli doesn't mention saying Yishtabach, but you're supposed to say Yishtabach as part of the Seder Hatfila, so he should stand up because you, you want him to segue right into Kaddish right after, and Kaddish has to be standing up. So you don't want to have a half sake. Bez, Ein Lomar Yishtabach, Elim Ken Amra Baruch Shamra, Ksas Spooky Zimra. I talked about this in the other previous two seminars uh, about saying <laughs> the Baruch Hash. Baruch Sha'amar is the beginning of Pesukah Zimra. Yishtabach is the end of, of Pesukah Zimra. So you're supposed to have <coughs> something in between. So you shouldn't just say Yishtabach by itself because that's the end of the bracha. It doesn't even have to start with bracha because bracha smucha l'chaverta based on the beginning bracha of Baruch Sha'amar. It has to be going on something in Pesukah Zimra. We said it seems like it's uh, birchas ha-mitzvah. I wanted to say any of them. Maybe it's Shev Chodah. But as Shulchan Aruch says, you have to say something in between Gimel. <laughs> you shouldn't make a bracha. Um, stop in the middle of the Zimra. We mentioned in Simon, I think with Nanalaf and Mbiz, we said that it's usher not, not to stop, to make a hefsek, just to speak regular words in the middle of the Zimra. Here, if you want to make a bracha on making your sitzis, right? It's not really a hefsek, it's for a mitzvah. Still, it's better to do it. Um, after you shtaba, before you start Baruch because that's why you don't interrupt in Pesukah the Zimra. I in the command Simon Nundal Tzav Gimel Hagam Yu Ashleach Sibur Lo Yayat Lo Tal Tchila Yisata Pesis It's Kodim Shias Lo Shaba. It's opposite when the Shleach Sibur he didn't put on his talis yet. He should make the bracha up during Pesukah the Zimra before you shtaba. This Yom Rak Kaddish Merak Har Shtaba Lo Yafsik because up to him to say the the uh, Kaddish mentioned before you're not supposed to be Mafsik. It's not supposed it's supposed to be Shtaba and then write. Thereafter, without a hefsek, you should do kaddish. Vachen im ein minyan veis akneses and yamtin al shtel sibor im yishtabach. If there's no minyan, obviously you should wait at the end of yishtabach. If yishtag hashiav minyan v'yomer yishtabach kaddish, can't say kaddish without a minyan. We know one of these things. We'll learn these are kaddish, baruchu, kedusha. These are things that you need a minyan for. Varn hishav kedusha, right? You have to be b'pachos b'asara. Ain't with pachos b'asara. You can't do it less than ten people. You need the Gemara has an Ada. You need ten people in order to do varnish b'kedusha. Dal shliach sibur saros shia haglan. Now we get to the specifications of what makes a good shliach sibur, or he has to be. This is based on a Gemara in Tainus on Daf Ted Zayin, which talks about the shliach sibur for one of the Tanesim. Um, Tanesim in the Gemara Tainus refers to when they didn't have a lot of rain. So after a certain amount of fast days, they would have a public davening where they would even add six brachos, and the shliach sibur would be. Be obligated to say all Shmona Esrei along with six new brachos. So there, the Gemara gives specifications of what a Shliach Sibur should be like. The Shulchan Aruch applies this to any Shliach Sibur for the whole year. We'll have to talk more on even Shulchan Aruch whether it's a good comparison or not. Shliach Sibur, Sarachshi Hagon, he should be someone fitting for that job, a respectable person. Ezu Hagon, what makes someone respectable? She Rekan Maveros, he should not be known to do Averos. Shalom. He ought to love Shem Rafil be so. Not only that, but it was good. It has to be that his childhood, he's not a Balchuva. It's not known that he did Averus when he was young. He's from from birth. He should be someone who's humble. He should have a pleasant voice. Someone who's a learned person who generally learns. These are all traits that we look for in a Shlech Sivar. Hey, let's say you don't have someone to all of these traits. The Kadima goes. To two things, why well, based on his chachma, his knowledge of Torah, doesn't have to be a biggest Talmud chacham, but he has to be a knowledgeable person. He can't be an Amar, so Ma'isim tov him. And someone also <coughs> who is known for his good acts. Let's say you have an Amar, but 
he has a great voice. I'm Chavazin, but they all want him. Ben Yud Gimel Shana, I'm even Masha Omer, Ben Kol Anoim. You have a 13 year old kid. We're gonna learn he's 13 year old, and even if he's, we don't, he doesn't have, we don't know if he has Shtei Saros. Uh, we don't know if he's a Gadol, and he has a terrible voice. A Katan Ukodem. The Katan comes first because a Katan, he goes to 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 Cheder, and he learns he learns the Torah. Amar doesn't learn the Torah. Mishavar Avira B'Shogei Kigom Shaharik Nevesh B'Shogei B'Chazer B'Tshuva. Someone killed someone accidentally. Pretty bad Avira, but he did Tshuva. Mutli Yashliach Sibor. That's because he did a B'Shog B'Shogei. Well, I'm also amazed if he purposely killed someone, and apparently he's not in jail for this, or he got he got a parole, he got out of jail. The Mikol Makom Yatzalav Shemra Kodem Hatshuva. He had a bad name, you know, that he killed someone. He's a murderer. This guy. I don't know. He's the police escorted him in, his handcuffs behind, his hands behind his back and handcuffs, and he's dying. <laughs> you can tell the police, man. You, you don't have to lead him to to, to the head of, of the shul. He could sit with his handcuffs in the back of the shul. He's not fit to be the shliach seaboard if he did an aver like that. He killed someone on purpose. Convicted felon. All right, is and they cover that seaboard. He's supposed to have someone. Not just that he's 13 years old. You have to know that he has a full beard. It does not mean this beard. It means the beard down low. It's a full of a short gadol of bakrai. If you just have that, we're talking about the, shliya, the general when we refer to shliach sibor in the simon. We're talking about uh, someone who's kavua that sibor hires. There are a lot of congregations that hire shliach sibor to be their shliach sibor for all the time, and it's a paid position. We're going to see it's better to actually pay for this position than we don't do it for free. Um, some people are some shuls are famous for their cantors, right? They love paying their cantors, but it seems like from the Shulchan Aruch, there's a paid position to be a shliach the whole entire week. So if you're just doing it once in a while, he's not the shliach sibur kavua. So then, even if he has two saros, he can go in front of teva, and we can assume we don't have to check. We know so once once a kid turns 13 years old. There's a rove. Rove kids have shtei saros. We can rely on that rove. We only learn that for dinim derabbana. If you assume like the Rambam that tefillah is del raisa, you couldn't rely on that. So Levad says the Mishnah points out Levad should lo yismanim mepia sibur or mepia shtei sibur or mana or so la hakalav la hakal maalav lis pal baadol itim yiduim. As long as it's not the uh, Shliach Sibur, he says, you know, it's hard for me to, to do it all the time. I'll appoint somebody else. I know you can't appoint somebody else. You, you, you don't have that power as a Shliach Sibur to appoint somebody else. Uh, we're going to see <coughs> um, who, who who is next in line, but you don't have that power. Uh, if you can't do it, he's sick or something like that. So then you have a Shliach Sibur, you know, back right. Uh, once in a while, he davens. So then you can rely on the fact that. Ah, uh, he's 13 years old, even though he only has Shtei Saras, presumably. Let's say the only guy available to Shtei Sibor is 13 years old. We rely on the Chazaka or the Rove that he has Shtei Saros, and therefore he can mozi everybody. Again, we only rely on this Chazaka when it comes to them, the Rabbana, not the Rabbana, not the Rabbana. This is just what I said. The Shulchan makes it clear that once he's 13 years old, we assume he has a zakan. So, if he's 20 years old, right, this is more recognizable. If they're 13 years old, we can assume he has. But once he's 20 years old, it's, it's vada. We can assume on a Doraisa level that he has a full zakan. And even if we know that he only has partial hairs in his scrotum, I don't know, down below, um, if he's 18 years old, it's called a gadol. Ted Saris, a Saris is someone who is not exactly a male, um, but he is considered a gadol. Once he reaches 20 years of age, he has a sris, so he doesn't have, he has maybe he has a low voice, his high pitched voice. Um, as long as he, the Mishnah says he's one of the simonim of a sris, meaning the Mish, the Gemara and almost mentions like six or seven uh, signs of some, making someone a sris. One of them is he doesn't form an arch when he urinates and things like that. So you look in the Gemara and Yavamos and Parak Aral. So if he has one of the simonim or all those simonim according to one opinion there, so then <clears throat> um, you could allow him to be a sheikh sir, but he's considered a god though once he comes to 20, even though he's not a full-fledged man. Yod Yesh 
There's a minog in some places on Motzei Shabbos. They let a katan who's not even 13 years old daven. There's a limud schos. You better not to do that with limud schos because we'll learn in Ian Shulchan Aruch. Is he really being motzi other people or is just a chovas hasibur? We'll talk about it. Hago mukomo shalom hago can end the katan la abor the thing I tell you about filled with filas arvus. The reason filas arvus they're only make is because it's a rishus filas arvus. The rishus the Gemara says it's not a chovo. You don't really have to daven filas marav. I feel gil chal yud gimel shana biyom shabbos only spal arvus shal shabbos already and then lo yud gimel shana. If he's going to turn 13 on Friday night, that's exactly it doesn't When we say 13 in one day, it doesn't mean 13 literally on one day. It just means a full 13 years, as opposed to even a couple hours before his 13th day. But let's say he's born, for example, on Rosh Hashanah of one year, Ben Hashmashos of Rosh Hashanah, of the first day of Rosh Hashanah, towards the end of the first day of Rosh Hashanah. So then the next Rosh Hashanah, even at the night, in halachic days, is considered a full year. Here he's talking about davening on Friday night before Shabbos actually starts. Sometimes you dive in, you dive in Kabbalah Shabbos before Shkia, you dive before Shkia, so then it's not considered a full year, and he can't dive in. Yidal, Shliach Sibor, Shemarech B'Tfiloso, Yish Yishmo Kolo Arif. We all can relate to this. I mean, first of all, there's a discussion about cantors, I mean, which probably this halacha is addressing. But even if you're not a cantor, and you're one of those guys that like to show off, showcase your voice, if he's really a thankful person, he just wants to dive in a beautiful hallel to thank Hashem, it's even a good thing. But he has to be, obviously, when he's davening, he has to have a beautiful voice, but I have to be fearful of, you know, diving in front of the tzibur. He's just one of these musicians, he likes to show off his voice, to raise maguna. Hard to tell me that a cantor is up there, I mean, some people will say, obviously, there's a lot of shuls that hire cantors. I'm not coming to... I mean, personally, I hate cantors. I, I can't take it. Um, I come there to dive myself. I want to say the word myself. I don't want to listen to someone say the tefillah. Um, I like listening to Jewish music sometimes. The slow davening, slow Jewish music, I don't like it. Especially not slow davening. I don't know why these places hire hey, these cantors. I had a grandmother. She she lived in Borough Park. She used to go to the to the... To the to the young Israel of Borrow Bar, where they had a cantor every era of Rosh Chodesh. She loved it. She loved it. Certain people love these cantors, but Allah is that if he's doing it, he doesn't have Yerushalayim, he's doing it just to show up his voice. You have to ask, you have to know who Health got. Maybe Health got a firm guy. I don't know. Maybe the others. Then Sion Miller. I don't know who these people are, but uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of cantors, but if he's doing it for the wrong reasons, he shouldn't be your still receiver. Mikol Makom, Koshamarach, you lost a low tov. Osa, even if he's doing it, it's still not a good thing. The, the, the Shulchan Aruch says, Nay, Torah Hasib, where people don't want to wait around so long. I guess if, the, if they hired him, they, they don't care about that. You're not supposed to make a still sib where someone who pronounces an aleph as an ayin, ayin, or an ah, 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 right? Or ayin and alph, and it's supposed to be meduik, it's supposed to be someone who reads perfectly. Someone wearing a tank top, right? His shoulders are showing. He can't be the shliach. See, if he's a summa, we pass and a summa is chayiv in the mitzvah, so he can be motzi you. Uh, but he can't do kriyas haTorah. We learned it previously in Simon Mem Ted, I think it was, that things <coughs> the Torah should be is meant to be read from the Torah scroll. You can't say it. If he is paid, it's his baby position, that he's a Shlech Seber Kavua, you don't have to, he could just go up and dive, and you just have to wait for people to say, oh, you want to dive. And Why is it, it's relevant for the next halacha? They don't have a paid position, or he's not there, the paid Shlech Seber. It comes in at Shul, the guy that comes, you want to dive, 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 no, 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 but you shouldn't be you shouldn't be yoser midday. So what do you do? Palmer you show him the The first time you say, mm, nah, I, don't know. I gotta leave early today, you know. I gotta leave in like five minutes. Uh show him the palm shnia and they ask the guy that comes again. Oh, you're good, Shliach Sibor. Alright, right. Maybe make an at smoke shirt the lama. He's like, Yeah, okay. Palm shlish and then but the guy was like, Okay, so go up. And then he goes up, and then he goes up. Moment, Lo shiyered who Adam Godel emasar of local klal. If the gabba is a big person, like imagine of Shmuel Kamenetsky, the Godel Ador, he comes to you and he says, "You want to daven shachris? You gotta go, even though you gotta daven, you gotta leave." This is what happens to me. I know they try to ask me to be a sibur. I leave davening early a lot of times, so that's why I say no. 
Um, but technically, they're asking you, this is the halacha, you're supposed to, I heard from, from Yaakov Freeman, a rabbi of mine, he said that this halacha doesn't apply anymore. I don't know. This is the Gemara in Brachos. The Gemara says you should, you should be masarib a little, you should refuse, you shouldn't, because it's anova, it's, it's humility uh, to say, I don't want to be a shleach seaboard is a prominent position. I'm going to say it's, it's someone who, you know, <clears throat> it's gadula, it's greatness, and you're supposed to be an honor, you're supposed to have humility, so therefore you're supposed to refuse at first. He said it doesn't apply anymore, no one wants to be a shleach seaboard anymore, it's not a gadula. So that's serious. The Shulchanach says it. I don't know. The Gemara says it. it's a Gemara. I mean, Yitzayin im tosh liach sibur usrichin lahamid acher tachtov. He made a mistake. The shliach sibur, right? Sometimes he says ma'ashim rochem erdekesh when you're not supposed to, uh, or he doesn't say ma'ashim rochem when you're supposed to. Now, if he could correct it, people yell out, "Hey, ma'ashim rochem erdekesh!" All right. So you don't need someone to take his place. He can fix that. But let's say the guy. He's in cognitive decline. I don't know, and he just get Alzheimer's. He has Alzheimer's in the middle of dominating. So you have to get someone else tacked up. Also, um, in that case, don't refuse. There's no shliach sibor, right? The guy, I don't know. He left the shul. He, he, he's sleepwalking. Just go up right away. You got Omer any yard than that table. They got up swoon. This is my final laugh. Huh? Uh, he says, they say, you want to be a shliach sibor? Nah, I'm wearing a blue shirt. I'm wearing a blue shirt. Only people with white shirts can be a shliach sibor. I am machmer, even though I don't wear a blue shirt. I am machmer to make sure only Haredi dress style is the, the dress of the shliach sibor. Om Neshuburagli sandal. I'm wearing sandals, right? I'm wearing sandals. What we said in Yavamwa, sundial. Sandal. Basically, the, the top of your fur is exposed. That's a sandal. Heels or things like that. Or or uh, flip flops or something. Lo yeri ba'osa shah klal. Even if he says afterwards, he changes his mind and says, No, I'll do it. Once he already says that, that I'm Ashtiyah Sibur has to be wearing white shirts and has to be wearing dress shoes, they should dare happy course. For all the people who are that don't want to hear this halacha, I'm sorry, this is halacha. It's a Gemara, it's a Mishnah in Masakas Megillah. It's a very hard Gemara to understand in light of practice nowadays. You are considered an apikoris. If you, and when it comes to tefillah, you're saying be a shliach sibor. It's a prominent position and say, oh, I'm wearing a blue shirt. I don't fit a blue shirt, or I'm wearing sandals. I don't. It's not appropriate for another to be a shliach sibor. Uh, you're considered an apikoris. Certainly, if you'll say in every J dress that I only wear a blue, I only wear white shirts. I mean, that's even a higher level. Here, at least, there's a reason he's saying this. I want to look distinguished. I want to wear a white shirt. I want to wear nice shoes for a shliach sibor. We say apikoris. Only apikoris them care about how they dress so much. Uh, he gives an excuse afterward. Said, the reason I was because you know because one day my my, my great grandfather was Haredi. No, no, no. <laughs> doesn't help. It's a hard Allah to understand. But this is a Mishnah Mufuresh in Masechus Megillah. I mean, you can't get better than this. I really want to hear a rejoinder to this claim. Uh, as a Haredi person, I who wants to wear colored clothes, I I, I find difficulty with this Allah. It's difficult with the Kharia practice, it really is. Yudtat Yesh Monim Ger Mliyoshliah Sibor Mirchut Vrayam. Some say a ger shouldn't be a Shliah Sibor. And the Shokanar says that we don't pass on that. I feel Yak Yakalaki Veloma in Rotish Pony Akazan. Now the question of a ger being is similar to a mamzer. Can a mamzer be a shliach sibor? It's actually machlokas whether a mamzer can write tefillin or not. So the Mishnah Bur says that machlokas is the same thing over here. A ger and a mamzer. We pass in ger is not part of the Kal Hashem, right? Pas in Ryosi. Uh, kal gerim lulikri kal, they're not considered part of the kal. So if not considered part of the kal, how can they emulsify the kal? So this is also, this halakha is not relevant to the Yenah Shulchan to figure out what exactly is Shleil Sibur doing. Is he be, being, he's just being motzi, he's being motzi other people? Or he's just the representative of the Sibur to be like Kriya Satora, I got a psaac from Nevin's hall, he says that, that, that the Kriya Satora is just a chovah has Sibur, it's not my personal chovah. And therefore, if I miss a part of a, a laning, I miss parts of the parts of the laning on Shabbos. I don't have to make that up. It's not my chova. It's chova on the tzibur. When they have a minion, that's what they do. But not that he's motzi me and my chov. So even if he's not part of the kal, maybe he could say the tefilos over here, not be motzi other people, or maybe not. He can go back and forth. Even a single person can say, I don't want this person to be a chazan, right? When they're picking, when they're really originally choosing who the chazan is. Unless the, the cholera chose him. 
he said the general practice of Ramah says we don't base it, it's not, a, it's not a vote, it's not a democracy that the whole Seaboard gets to choose and one person can hold up, everyone has to be a unanimous decision. No, there's seven tovei a year. The minute was, the Gemara, you see, seven important people, the rich people in the city, they make the decisions. So they make decisions. You can only, you don't have a, a right to make a decision. He has to be one of the tovei a year. If he's not, he doesn't have the right. Vim who, the Ramah says, so no. I mean, they hate each other. The Mishabura explains. Then we're going to see because Shlich Sibur is supposed to be mostly you, your, you, your chovos, according to the Shulchan Aruch, according to the Mishabura. So therefore, if he hates you, he's going to have it in mind not to be mostly you, your, your, your chovo and, and baruchu and things like that and, and Chazar Hashas. So then you do have a right to be mocha because he's going to have, and we're going to learn that if if, if the Shliach Sibur, even he, because he hates them when he has Kavana, not that he must even one person, he's not mostly anybody. Someone who hates the Shliach Sibur, right, he shouldn't have an aliyah for the Tochacha because maybe he's machaving, uh the Tochacha should go in one person. So we have to make sure when there's hatred in the congregation to quell the hatred before appointing a shliach sibur chaf. This is a common Allah. People take it very seriously about davening on your side of their father, right? Uh, they daven, want to daven for their father. Someone else wants to daven for another person, a sick person, let's say, or someone should have parnasa. The Allah is according to the Shulchan Aruch. It's a democracy. They get to choose who they want, or the Ramah says, the, the seven important people, Tobi Ayir, where there is no minha, where there is no seven zayin tovei a year, the minha, the Mishnah Bura says, is we allow the yard side. And they obviously, on the yard side, we allow him to come first, except if there's, except if there's a moel. I'm sorry. Uh, if he's davening for his father, um, I think during the shloshim, right? So then the moel comes first. So if it's the yard site, the yearly uh, anniversary of his father's death, or his mother's, doesn't say his father's death, I don't know about his mother's death. Um, so then the Avel comes first. Um, but he says at the end of the day, it's up to the Kal or the Tovi'ir to decide. Um, he says basically the important thing is that you shouldn't get into a fight. If you're going to get into a fight, people are going to get into fights. Oh, I have. Kadima because I have a yard site, or I have Kadima because of this. If you get into fights, it's better to leave uh, your fight to the door and go find another minion and split into a hundred minyanim so you can have a thousand people and a hundred minyanim so everyone can daven. No, it doesn't say you should split the minyanim over here. You should settle the matter. Don't don't be so mocked on this. He says maybe it helps. He says, Maybe by davening for the yard site, your father or your mother. Gives, it, gives, it cools down Gehenna for them, but it's not conclusive anywhere that's true. These are things that are traditions that are passed down to us. Don't take these things so seriously. Don't get into fights over this. People get into these fights way too easily over this. If you're going to get into fights, it's not worth it. Um, <clears throat> let's say you live in a non Jewish place, and the guy is going to tell you who should be the Shleach Sibur. Don't better not to listen to him because you don't want your minyan to be based on a goy. This most people don't know. It's better for a uh, tzibor to hire a shleach tzibor um, than to, to just do it for free because when he gets paid, he does a better job. Um, and there's no machlokas, right? It's his job. You can't take over. Even if there's no one paid, you, you have to get... People want you to be shleil sibur. This happens a lot of times when you have two people at the yard side or things like that. People, no, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. You know what? No, I'm gonna kill you. you know? <laughs> if you do it, I'm telling you, I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna tell them about the extension you made in your house illegally. I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna call the police on you. No, no, no. But if you tell me, I'm going to tell about, you know, the, the skeleton in your, in your closet, uh, you know, about your daughter, you know, that she's off the derech, you know. So it gets pretty nasty. So um, if if that happens, that someone's becoming a seaboard with threatening other people and trying to use their strength, physical strength, or verbal strength, um, we don't answer Amin Akbar Khosav. This is very important to know that Shlil Sibor has to be someone has to be done peacefully. If it's not done peacefully, you better not daven there. It's better not daven. Better daven be I would think. 
right? Ain't no not makam amar kabra kosev. The Allah that Ramah says you don't answer Amin. So what's the point? The whole point of Shlil Sibor is that he's saying brachu. You answer Amin. You say barchu after barchu. You say kaddish, right? You say Amin. There's no value in Amin. Chav kimol skar Shlil Sibor pouring mikupas hakal. How do you pay for this? You know, this job. It costs a lot of money to hire one of these cancers. You think health is cheap? And Sion Miller is cheap. These people are not cheap. The way they, right, most people, most congregations collect funds. They have membership funds, but they also have donations. And most of the donations are given by the Kavirim, the bigger people. So <clears throat> who has more of a say? The rich people. He says, um, <clears throat> In terms of paying for the shliach sibor, so half of the money you have a membership fee. Everyone pays equal, and half of it is based on donations. Um, obviously, based on that, the the rich people have more of a say in choosing him, and usually that's the way the design Toby Ayer. Usually, the rich people on the board, the board of the shul, those are the ones that are going to be choosing who the shliach sibor should be. Chavdal sibor shul shliach and this called rab shliach sibor. Let's say only have money for a rab and a shliach sibor. Even beyond them, kedei schar shneim imu rab muva gadol b'torah. He's a big rabbi, Baki Right? He comes first. You don't pay for the Shlil Sibor. You have anyone else pay the Shlil Sibor, and he's the Rav. If you don't have a big rabbi, right? I don't know about the rabbis nowadays. The rabbis coming out of YU, I don't know. Are those considered big rabbis? Um, even the ones coming out of the Kolim over here, and you know, they want a Steller, they want a job. Are they considered Rav? Mufa, Begodobatoro, Baki Bahura. These people are Baki Bahura. They look in the Sforim. You know, they call their own rabbi. You call them Baki Bahura. I'm not so sure. Um, so if you have a really distinguished rabbi, right? Some shuls want a really distinguished rabbi. So he comes first. Usually when they have a distinguished rabbi, they have enough money to pay for a shliya or also. So they have health got. And they have uh, Rachel Reisman from, from the Good Israel and, 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 and Borough Park. I guess he's a prominent, in, in, in Flatbush, I guess he's a prominent rabbi. Um, <clears throat> if not, not. Um, so then the Shaliyah Sibor uh, comes first. You pay for health God over the rabbi coming out of YU. Uh, <laughs> Once you hire the Chazan as a job, you hired health God, um, you can't remove him unless you have him at a Psul. A Psul means that he didn't have air but maze it, right? If there's just a rumor going around, let's say the guy. This chazan, you know, there have been rabbis who have been removed from their positions because they they took advantage of women in their offices. Uh, let's say you hear about the chazan like that, but it's rumors only. He was with a non-Jewish woman. Or he's reporting people to the police where he shouldn't be. Aval in Bo, I love aiding us there. Let's say there's witnesses. Okay, also but I'm aware So then he did that very amazing. We assume and he's not pure. Oh no, you're removed. He's not fit to be a shliach sibur. Shliach sibur. Let's say he's a, he's, he's a shliach sibur. He has all the qualifications, but he's someone who's he works in a butcher shop. Lo yispalo begadim asolim masrich. He should take off the blood-stained clothes that he was wearing before he davened. It's not proper to wear davening those clothes. Maina rotz of achlet begadim shas of kilo yispalo. If he wants to wear the dirty clothes, ma'avirno. So that's good enough reason to get rid of him. Shliach sibur amenabal piv. He has coarse language. He uses the f word. I don't know. Sharane and b'shir and anachrim. Or he's singing Goyish songs. He's humming those Maccabee songs. <laughs> I'm joking. The Gemara, the, the Mishabura says over here, Shiri Nachram, Dafka means songs that were made to the service of Orozara, like they sing in church, let's say. Um, he's singing those songs. The Macham Biyado, only those songs. He's singing Justin Bieber. It's okay. The Macham Biyado, Shalol Asos can We tell him it's better not to do it. If he doesn't stop, then we can get rid of him. Shalol Sibur Shahiskin, Rosal Lamaz, Benol Isayel, Leprak. It gets very old. Right? One day, Helfgott's going to get old. I'm not picking on Helfgott, but I just know Helfgott. <laughs> Helfgott, Abish Brot, I don't know these people. He's getting old. Abish Brot is getting older, and he wants his son to help him. Avapisha in Kolo Beno Arib Kolo. He's not as beautiful as Abish Brot. His voice, his son. I don't know if he has a son. The Mali Mekom Bashar Dvarim. If he normally fills in for his father and other and other tasks that he's helping out his father, Beno Kodam Kodam, Ena Siri Kolo in the Makos Bo, right? If he wants to make his son the new Shleil Sibur, he can't do that. But if he wants to. Take off a couple, a couple of feelers, a couple of weeks. He can put insert his son in there, and the kal has nothing to say to that. Chavav kal shenagel emanos anoshim al sarke asibul lizman vegi azman yatsu al ilu vichanzu erach echerim takteim. 
Right, there are certain jobs in the sea where the president of the shul, Bein Lechazan, Bein Lekupa, Shal Staka, Bein Lechar Menuhim, it's strictly on the Let's see where you have Gabayim that collect Staka, you have the president of the shul and things like that. Bein Shnotlan Aleim, Sar Bein Shnotlan, whether it's a paid job or not. I feel lo kavul hem zman staman kipurusha ma'achash anagul kach. Even if they don't say, okay, your presidential term term ends after four years, if that's the minag, it's four years. Once four years up, you can't say, I want to go longer. It's up. You go with the minag. Hagal yesh mi shakatu shteel sibur yispalal mitoch sefer miyuchal sibur. But Ramah says she should daven have a special sitter. That's the minog. A lot of places have a special sitter for the chazan. The vayla nichtel the shmo. The mishnah points out this is specifically talking about uh, before the printing press. After the printing press, whether you have a big sitter, they made for the shdel seaboard. That there's no Indian to have that over there. Even though aval pikin, even though we still see that people do it, and you look in every every shul, they have this big sitter over there. But there is an Indian that the, the words are bigger, says so they make a mistake over there. And the last thing I'll add, and they call him a chazan. Why is he called a sefer a chazan? People are looking at him. How's this guy? The chazi in Aramaic means to see. People are looking at him. They want to see how he's going to do. That's why it's called a chazan. See you in Iyan Shachan Arach. And I, all I like to say is, with this is 31 minutes. Um, it's a little long. I expected to do it in 15 minutes. Obviously, it wasn't realistic. But 31 minutes is not so bad. Stay tuned for Iyan Shachan Arach, where we talk... Uh, more about what a shliach sibur is. It's called a shliach sibur. He's a shliach of the sibur. He's the emissary of the sibur. Is he being motziyu or is he doing something else? He's just the representative of a sibur, not being motziyu. I'll explain the difference. You know, shalchan coming up next.